The latest House Republican memo shows that Hunter Biden and his associates earned way more than was previously reported. Could Joe Biden himself face charges for corruption? House Republicans have a new strategy. Welcome to America Uncovered, I'm Chris Chappell. Is President Joe Biden finally done for? I mean, politically, not, you know. And to all my FBI handlers, that was a joke. As part of the ongoing House Oversight and Accountability Committee Hunter Biden probe, Chairman James Comer has released the third House Republican bank memo detailing payments to the Biden family from Russia, Kazakhstan, and Ukraine. Ukraine sending money to a Biden? Oh, how the tables turn. The Hunter Biden bank memo cites banking records from three entities connected to Hunter Biden, as well as the testimony of Hunter Biden's associate, Devin Archer, to further make the case that Joe Biden himself was involved in corruption. And the mainstream media is at it again. Many dismiss the memo, saying that it just revives old claims and offers no evidence. Indeed, according to Democrats, the bank memo is just an embarrassing attempt to distract from Trump's indictments, which according to Republicans are just a distraction from the Hunter Biden probe. And around and around it goes. They've really taken the merry out of merry-go-round. So is there anything to this third memo? Well, some of the information is old news, but there are some new details that tie it all together in a whole new way. One thing that is new is the revelation that Hunter Biden and his associates received more than $20 million in payment from foreign sources. That's 10 million more than was previously known. But don't worry, a mere $10 million from foreign actors isn't worth fussing over. The memo scrutinizes Hunter Biden's shady connections with Russian billionaire Yelena Baturina, director of Kazakhstan's state-owned oil company Kyenis Rakishev, and Ukrainian company Burisma. We already know from a 2020 Senate report that Rosemont Seneca Thornton, an investment firm co-founded by Hunter Biden, received $3.5 million from Baturina in 2014. According to the bank memo, $2.75 million of the $3.5 million that went to Rosemont Seneca Thornton made its way to both Hunter Biden and his business associate Devin Archer. This includes money going into Rosemont Seneca Bohai, the film that also received Burisma payments when Hunter Biden was a Burisma council and board member. Interestingly enough, Baturina wasn't among the Russian elites Biden sanctioned after Russia invaded Ukraine. But I'm sure it's just a coincidence that Biden didn't punish his son's old ATM. Yeah, I mean associate. Yep, just a silly coincidence. Around the same time, Hunter Biden met Rocky Shev at the Hay Adams Hotel in Washington, D.C., and later received from him the exact funds to buy an expensive sports car. Now, the car isn't new information either, but here's what is. Rocky Shev and Baturina attended a previously unreported dinner with Joe Biden himself. I'll tell you more after the break. Welcome back. Hunter Biden's associate Devin Archard's testimony revealed some things that may help Republicans charge Joe Biden with corruption. We knew, thanks to Hunter Biden's abandoned laptop, that Hunter, Archer, and several of their foreign business partners had dinner at Cafe Milano in Washington, D.C. in 2015. Oh, and Hunter brought his dad. But come on, there's nothing weird about that. I mean, who among us hasn't invited our dads to a multi-million dollar business meeting? It's like how I invite my mom to every one of my first dates. Totally normal. But Archer mentioned another dinner that took place also at Cafe Milano in the spring of 2014, around the same time as the payment for Hunter's new car, and not too long after the three and a half million dollar transfer from Baturina. And guess who was there? Car payment guy, Rakishev, Russian billionaire Baturina, and then Kazakh Prime Minister Karim Masimov. And you guessed it, Joe Biden. Joe Biden reportedly stayed for significant periods of time with Hunter's shady associates during these dinners. Did he stick around to get in on the deals? Or did he just wanna try Cafe Milano's ice cream? Both are equally plausible. This is in addition to the 20 or so times Hunter put his dad on speakerphone during calls with his business associates. Now keep in mind that this is coming just from Archer, and Archer himself testified that he wasn't aware of the president personally being involved with Hunter's business dealings or doing anything illegal, according to him. 
Hunter only gave the illusion of having access to his father. Although I'm not sure how much of an illusion it is when there are phone calls and dinners involved, but you know. Republicans still haven't charged Biden himself with any crime, including directly receiving bribes. This has once again led to many in the mainstream media and the Biden administration to ask, where's the bribe? But here's the thing that could really get Joe Biden himself in hot water. Knowing that it would be very hard to prove that Joe Biden directly received any money and changed policies to favor his son, Republicans have shifted their strategy. They are now arguing that direct payments to Biden aren't needed to show corruption, which is a shocking revelation. The Republicans actually know how to change their strategy. Usually they just double down harder than someone holding leaven in blackjack. Republicans are actually arguing that Biden personally benefited from his son's business dealings, but not necessarily through direct payments. The main argument is that for Joe Biden, helping Hunter and the rest of his family is the benefit, not the money. The memo states, President Biden's defenders purport a weak defense by asserting the committee must show payments directly to the president to show corruption. This is a hollow claim no other American would be afforded if their family members accepted foreign payments or bribes. Indeed, the law recognizes payments to family members to corruptly influence others can constitute a bribe. According to Republicans, Hunter Biden delivered what foreign entities wanted, access to Joe Biden. Comer says it's clear Joe Biden knew about his son's business dealings and allowed himself to be the brand sold to enrich the Biden family while he was vice president of the United States. By this argument, when Hunter Biden received questionable funds, the product he was selling was Joe Biden himself. That was the bribe. And let's not forget that once upon a time, some of that money was slated to be held for the big guy. That's why Republicans are now seeking witness testimonies to determine whether Joe Biden knowingly allowed his son to sell his brand abroad. The Biden brand. Ugh, I'm less concerned about a president who's corrupt than a president who talks like an Instagram influencer. Democrats aren't amused. The White House accuses Republicans of shamelessly moving the goalposts, which is exactly what the memo says about the White House, which initially claimed that Biden had no knowledge of his son's business and now claims the president was not in business with his son. But here's what's really frustrating. Many in the mainstream media are heavily inclined to take the word of pro-Biden sources at face value. It heavily skews how the Hunter Biden probe gets covered. Take the Washington Post's coverage of Hunter Biden's abandoned laptop, which had information regarding the dinner appointments. The Post relied heavily on a bunch of Biden aides who made Hunter Biden's laptop out to be Russian disinformation and disputed claims about Joe Biden attending shady dinners. However, according to Archer, the Washington Post reporting wasn't correct. Since his comments, the Washington Post has made some quiet adjustments. Boy, that is sure embarrassing. Glad they didn't have to do this exact same thing for other fringe theories that turned out to be true. The Washington Post's changes included updates to previous fact checks, like this one. But the Washington Post publicly didn't state that it made corrections until real clear investigations called them out for it. Comer says House Republicans will eventually move to subpoena the Biden family. And depending on what they find, this could be the end for Biden. I mean, politically, not, you know, just a joke. But the Bidens could have avoided a lot of suspicion if they had just been transparent with their financial transactions. Like when America Uncovered viewers, like you, make a small contribution on patreon.com slash America Uncovered by clicking on the orange button. Don't worry, you don't have to give a monthly contribution large enough to buy a sports car, but you could. And click on this video for a deep dive into the third indictment against Trump as we go through this joyless political merry-go-round. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching America Uncovered.